Hi viewers, welcome to Elamo Solution. Today we are going to see about 2 MW PV battery grid system in MATLAB. So this is a simulation model for 2 MW PV battery based grid integration. So this model consists of uh, main grid. So main grid is rated at 154 MW, 34.5 kV and then here we have a transformer transform that means uh, step down the voltage from 34.5 kV to 400 kV so 400 volt and then in point of common coupling um, we have a load so load is around 1.6 megawatt and then here we have PV battery system okay so here you can see that the battery going to be connected to the uh, DC link so here you can see that so this is structure of uh, uh, the connection actual connection so here we have PV so PV is directly connected to the uh, DC link and here we have battery so battery connected to the DC link via bidirectional converter so and then after that DC link we have inverter for connect connection to the point of common coupling so here AC grid so these are the uh, DC points okay so here you can see that we are using around 300 volt nominal voltage battery uh, with uh, rating of 2 megawatt okay that means here we will see that 2 megawatt would be 300 so this rating so the rating around 6.6 .6. Uh, that mean uh, the rating of this uh, battery is around uh, 6.6 kilo amps hour so why we are using this uh, kind of battery because we are connected with the 2 megawatt PV power generation so that's why we use this and then it going to be connected to the, the DC link via this uh, bidirectional converter so this bidirectional converter controlled by means of a current control method so here you can see that we are generating reference current so based up based upon the PV current that means we are taking only uh, 20 percent as a PV and then yes added with the 800 so this will be generate the reference current so reference current that means based upon the PV current or PV power so it will be generate the uh, charging uh, current for a battery and a discharging current for battery according with the uh, PV current okay and then after you going to be compare with the uh, battery current actual battery current going to be processed via PA controller and then it going to be processed via PDLM generator so this PWM generator going to be uh, generate the pulse for controlling things controlling this two IGPT of this battery converter in order to control the current of the battery according with the reference current generation based upon the PV current so next one thing uh, PV array system so here you will see that so this is a block inside that uh, solar PV battery system so here you can see that so this is a solar panel so the single panel rating is 4, 414 watts and then voltage is 72.9 and current at maximum power point is 5.6 in amps and then uh, each uh, string having 7 series uh, PV panel connected in series and then here we have 700, uh, 700 uh, parallel string for generating the 2 megawatt power so this is uh, a common DC link okay so in DC link we are con <coughs> connecting PV as well as uh, battery via this bidirectional converter so next we have that uh, uh, inverter control okay so inverter control used to control this uh, uh, neutral point clamp converter and then here we have harmonic filter to filter out the harmonic in the voltage of the output of the inverter and then here we have a step up voltage step up transformer okay so this grid inverter will be controlled uh, by means of uh, uh, MBPT method so here we are using P and MBPT so P and MBPT going to be generate the reference voltage based upon the uh, PV voltage and current and here we will get the reference voltage so this reference voltage going to be compared with the DC link voltage and then after comparison it going to be converted into per unit so by dividing with the nominal DC voltage and then it going to be processed via PA controller so this PA controller will be generate the ID reference okay so this ID reference going to be taken as reference current for a rail power injection in the 
point of common coupling so here we are making iq reference equal to 0 so because we are not injecting the reactive power just we are injecting only real power so next thing is we have to measure the inverter voltage and current so in this point so here in this point so this is in this point only we are going to connect it to the point of common coupling so in this point you have to connect that uh, uh, that means you have to measure the voltage and current so after measuring that voltage and current so you have to convert that uh, voltage and current into that mean we are having abc form so you need to convert it into dq naught form so by using uh, power transformation so here we are using abc to dq naught uh, power transformation so after converting the dqc to dq naught so we are getting vd and uh, vd vq and id iq so for converting abc to dq naught so here we are using pll so pll will be generated to omega t for uh, this uh, inverse answer uh, power transformation block okay so finally here you can see that we are having vd vq actual id iq actual here we have id iq reference so then here inside right here we are going to apply feed for our decoupling control so here we are comparing that uh, id iq reference with the id iq actual and then it's going to be process via pa controller and then here we are applying that feed forward uh, decoupling control logic and also it will be generated some control voltage so the output from the pa control uh, and then feed forward decoupling control logic so is added here so finally you will get the final control signal in the form of vd and vq so next process is you have to convert that vd vq into actual form so here we are going to apply uh, inverse power transformation okay so for applying after applying inverse power transformation that vd will be be converted into abc form so the abc form going to be processed via modulator so modulator will be generated the control voltage reference this control voltage reference going to be controlled this neutral point converter okay for sending real power to the point of common coupling okay and then here uh, here you can measure the PV irradiation. So here you can measure the irradiation. So irradiance. Okay. And then here you can measure PV per PV voltage, PV current. And then here you can measure the SOC of the battery, battery current, battery voltage, battery power. And then so here you can measure load THT, load current, load voltage, load power. And here you can measure uh, grid. Uh, current THT, grid current, grid voltage, grid power. Okay. So now I am going to operate the system. Now I am fixing that irradiation is around 1000 volts per meter square and temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. And then I am going to run the model with this uh, operating condition and then you have to check the results. After something, you have to change that irradiation and then you have to check the uh, system performance. Okay. So now I am going to simulate this model. So here you will see that right PV is generating uh, that means irradi irradiation uh, is around 1000 watts per meter square. The PV, PV is generating around 2 megawatt. Here you will see that 2000 kilowatt. So that means which is equal to 2 megawatt. Then voltage of the PV is around 500 volt and then current of the PV is around 4000 amps. Okay. So here you will see that SOC, SOC is keep on increasing and then here you can uh, see that right that uh, battery current is minus 200 amps and then battery voltage 3 uh, 305 or 310 volt and then you will get around minus 60 kilowatt that means battery in charging mode so that's why the current and power will be in a, a negative okay so here you will see that THT of the grid current is around zero and then grid current uh, uh, and grid voltage here you can see that uh, grid current grid voltage nature is sinusoidal and here you can see that grid power is around uh, you will see that uh, the grid power we are getting around uh, grid power is around uh, 400 kilowatts okay and here you can see that that the so this is a THT of the load current so this is a load current load voltage this is load power so load power is around 1.5 megawatt okay so now I am going to change the irradiation to 500 and then you have to check the result of the system 
so now we can see that uh, now irradiation changed to 5 units because of that power generation from the pv is around the 1 megawatt only okay so 1 megawatt so here you can see that change of irradiation equal to 500 watts per meter square and then current of the pv is around 2000 amps so because of change in irradiation condition right uh, battery now comes to discharging mode the battery uh, power is around uh, 100 kilowatt and then here you can see that the battery current right so battery current is around 280 amps okay so battery now supplying around 100 kilowatt to the point of the mini ceiling system right and then here you can see this is grid current so now grid uh, power is my, uh, around minus 450 watts right that means now grid supplying some power to the uh, point of common coupling to manage the load power okay so now we can see that the load power is maintained around to 1.5 megawatt only and then THT of the load current is around to 5 percent only okay so now i am going to make the condition to 50 that means low irradiation of the pv and then you have to check the results so now you can see that the pv power uh, pv radiation comes to 50 and then pv power comes to around uh, uh, not zero is around uh, 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 is is like around um, one second please so pv power is around around uh, 100 kilowatt right pv generating around 100 kilowatt so now we can see that the battery right because of that battery goes to uh, battery now supplying around 200 kilowatt and then here you will see that right uh, grid uh, supplying around 1200 right 1200 watts right so here you will see that uh, load continuously getting power from the system okay so this is uh, operation of the model with the uh, change in irradiation condition so system will be uh, have the power balance in the source area uh, source, area, source side as well as uh, load side thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much